Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I know it's been a long time uh, since we've done a video that's longer than a few seconds. Uh, you can check out our shorts, we've done a few of them. But uh, today we're gonna do something that we've never done before. Today we're gonna do something we've never done before and that's do an unboxing. And in this box here in my lap here is something um, that is new to the studio. Um, came from Sweetwater today. Kind of excited to see to see what it is and uh, open it up. Obviously I know what it is, but you guys get to see too. So let me just open it up here real quick. Oh. Put that away. So yeah, in the box here as I open it up, we've got our bubble wrap. We've got, you know, sweet water stuff. And the bat, our lovely bag of candy from Sweetwater. Thanks, Sweetwater, by the way. They're not sponsoring this, but I still like the candy. Um, and I like the gear that they sell. So within this box, oh, it's upside down, is an ID44 from Audient. Uh, I had to look at the top of the box here. But it's from Audient. It's, it's got a demo sticker. This is actually a demo unit um, that we bought from uh, Sweetwater. Um, but the nice thing about it, look on the back here, is it's got uh, two ADATs in, four mic pre's, uh, four outputs, and a you know BNC for word clock. Um, it's also got a nice power on switch, but um, we'll show more of it as we kind of open the box here. This is also a review, kind of a review of gear as well as unboxing. But, you know, I'm just kind of open the tape here. I'm not sure where it's gonna go on the desk quite yet, but, um, you know, it's, so, it'll go somewhere over here. You can't see that far, but there's another spot on the desk over here. Um, so in the box, you've got these little, this looks like this has got power in it and USB. So you got a USB-C on both ends. You got, See that you got USB-C on both ends, and then we got a USB-A and a USB-C. Be handy things to have, um, and then it comes with power supply too because this unit uses um, external power, and it's got a great big lovely wall wart type thing that they make. Um, looks like you can maybe change it from American to or from yeah standard to Europeans. And then this other piece looks like, yep, it's just a filler piece. It's just to keep it from moving around in the box. So that's kind of the unboxing. Um, so the second part of this is kind of a review of the unit itself. And as I get closer here, you can kind of see it's got, it's got a nice finish to it. Um, it's kind of a glossy finish. You can see the camera lights kind of, kind of glaring off of it. But it's got a knob that ooh, feels really nice. So all the knobs kind of feel really good. Um, they don't feel plasticky by any means. The buttons feel like the buttons maybe could be a little better, but they they feel okay. Um, and then it's got these awesome toggle switches that feel fantastic for the mic prees. So on the mic prees themselves, we've got a 48 volt, a 10 dB pad and a roll off uh, for the low end um, that can be on. Also has peak and signal lights. There's a peak here, signal here, and then these knobs are for your gain for the mic prees. Um, it also has two direct ends on the front for channels one and two, and two separate headphone outs, which is very handy. The way we're gonna use the headphone amps here is uh, one to drive where I sit at the desk so I can check mixes and stuff like that. And then the second one will actually split out to our headphone amplifier. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Out to our headphone amplifier that's over here in the rack behind me for our live room, which is in another part of the building here. Um, on the back, you can kind of see it's got, uh, getting close here, it's got four mic pre's. One, two, three. Three and four. Three and four look like they could be used as a stereo or mono. Um, they look really close together because channels one and two have a send and return. 
for outboard gear and whatnot. And then you've got your quarter inch here, one, two, three, and four, uh, that are for your like uh, monitors. If you have a second pair, you can set it up as an alternative out uh, within the software. Um, and then you got B and C here. Um, while I'm touching it. Um, it's got B and C here for your word clock out and then your ADAT in and out one and two. It's got two sets of ADAT, which is handy. We'll be using that a little differently. Um, I'm not sure if we'll use the outputs. We'll definitely use the inputs with our focus right units that are in the desk here. Um, and then it's got USB-C and an on-off switch and power. Pretty self-standard Kensington lock on the side if you want to lock it to your desk. Uh, we're not going to lock it to our desk. We actually got it so we could take it and go do recordings elsewhere or like, you know, I go on vacation, I can take this unit with me, leave all the preamps here. I don't need, don't need more than four usually um, when I go out and do other stuff. I do have a field recorder that we use to record, you know, shows and stuff like that. You know, it goes, goes along with our camera. Eventually I'll do a review of it, kind of show you what it looks like. Um, might do a whole camera rundown video, but um, this unit is just so, you know, I can kind of take it, you know, we record here and then they go, oh, we decided to go over to a buddy's rehearsal space. And they've got, you know, some, some stuff that they're, they're wanting to record. We can do like four drums and then do like guitars and then we could do, you know, vocals all with this one unit and a laptop as opposed to having like, okay, come over here. We don't have time to get things, you know, set up and, um, sometimes it's just easier to go to rehearsal space and record a quick, quick demo. Um, and then we come back here and then we can do the, flash out the whole thing with, you know, good, good amount of mic pre's and, and other mics and stuff like that. Um, but we're excited to use this. I have not gone through the buttons, however, here. Um, the buttons on the front of this, there's, there's like, looks like about seven total. Um, the top three here, one, two, three, are um, F function buttons so you can kind of and you set them you can set them in the software to do multiple things i haven't seen the software yet so i'm not quite sure exactly what they do there's a talk back button and what i hear from the talk back is you can route like a usb mic into it from your laptop or your laptop mic even you know just the mic that's in your laptop as uh as your talk back source um, which i find that very intriguing so after talk back we have a talk back button where you can route from anywhere. Um, we have a cut button. The cut button uh, basically uh, is handy. Um, cut your speakers. Just basically, it's, it's a mute section from what I understand in the unit. Um, and then there's a dim button, and dim is very handy uh, if you're like, oh, the client wants the speakers really loud, and then they kind of go into the live room after they've listened. You can hit the dim button without having to completely turn down your volume and then have to reset volumes. You can just hit that real quick and it just kind of cuts it in half. Or um, I think in the software you can set it to do whatever you want. You can have it set to where it only cuts and only dims 10 dB or it cut dims 60. There, I don't know if that's quite accurate values, but that's kind of a concept. And then the ID button, from what I understand, you can hit the ID button and control uh, parameters of plugins or faders or just different aspects of your DAW uh, with the big rotary knob here in the middle. And this rotary knob feels fantastic. Um, it does come with a status and a meter but meter, like a little meter section here. I imagine the meter section correlates with the outputs of your speakers. Um, but yeah, that's kind of this unit. It's very well built from what I can tell, um, as you may have just saw previously. I did drop it out of the box um, and it hit the floor and it seems like there's nothing wrong. Not a problem, not a scuff, not anything. It's all metal. It's an all metal, you know, chassis, everything from the top to the back to the sides, everything is metal. It's not plastic. Some of these interfaces or like this series, they're like plastic unless you're spending like thousands of dollars on a tabletop. Like the UAD ones, they're all metal, but they're also like a thousand and up. This guy runs somewhere in the $700 range, which I think is fantastic. You get four mic pre's in, along with an additional 16 uh, ADAT inputs. So you get easily up to 20 inputs here, which 
is a lot for a lot of people. For us, it works because we have our, li our live room piped in into a pair of Focusrite Octoprees that then feed ADAC into this guy. Um, so that's kind of this guy in a nutshell and the unboxing. Um, look out for more videos to come. We might do a routing video on how we've got this guy hooked up once we kind of completely figure all of that. We don't exactly know. Got a good idea, but not exactly sure exactly how everything runs because when you hook stuff up, it doesn't always work the way that you think it does on paper. So um, we want to thank you for watching. You know, subscribe, hit the like button. Um, if you like this video, share it with your friends, share it with others who might find it enjoyable. Uh, I am Justin, and we are Fox and Robin Recording, and thanks for watching.